I started walking early this morning about 10 of 7, so I mean it's not super early but the sun doesn't rise until maybe 20 after 7, so it started a little bit in the dark. Um, I wanted to get an early start because it's a pretty big day. Uh, it's under 40 kilometers, <laughs> so not my biggest, but it might be like 37 or 38. Uh, I left my albergue before the bar next door was open, so I haven't had coffee yet. Taking a bit of a gamble, but it's not really a gamble. I'm on the front says, I mean, there are going to be services all along this route today. So um, I've been walking probably just about two kilometers and there is a little town up here. There should be a couple of bars. <laughs> it is now after seven, so let's hope something's open for coffee. But it feels really good to get an early start. Um, I think another reason I did that is I just got to enjoy these last 20, 25 minutes totally alone. <laughs> and it might be the only time today that I really feel like I am walking and know the pilgrims are in sight. I have the path to myself. So it was a really nice way to start the morning. It's also my birthday. <laughs> Another reason I wanted to do that. Just to get guarantee a little walking time alone. So I just stopped for coffee back there. Got my cafe con leche, it was delicious. And just as I was finishing up, two pilgrims walked up and it was Claudia and Jean-Paul from the Primitivo. <laughs> and then two women who were in my albergue last night, they walked by also from the Primitivo. And then a Spanish man came up just as I was leaving. He is also from the Primitivo, so the five pilgrims I have seen so far today are all Primitivo pilgrims. So it makes me wonder a little bit, like I saw a lot of pilgrims yesterday when I got to Melide and continuing on. So um, we're all kind of wondering, I don't know, like maybe we all walk a little differently <laughs> somehow. Maybe it's just really good luck. Uh, surely there are going to be more pilgrims on the way today, but I... I'm going to say this is a very, very nice morning so far. You know, one of the really nice things about being on the Francis now is that there are just a ton of services set up for pilgrims. So I passed a couple rest areas like this. So just places where you can sit and rest. There are plenty of fountains to get water, plenty of bars and cafes open, stands on the side of the road. <laughs> so it does make it just a lot more, you know, in some ways a lot easier, a little more convenient, and that can be nice. Apparently there is a special Camino beer this year and <laughs> it looks like the side of this building is a big advertisement for it. I'll have to take a look. There have been so many pilgrims on the way <laughs> these last like 10 kilometers, but I found this really quiet little bar. There's only one other person. And it's perfect here and I got like a huge, huge slice of tortilla and a little cortado, so perfect spot.
I think this is the Pilgrim Superhighway. This place has expanded since the last time I was here. Save for sure a few more beer bottles. Quite a few. <laughs> oh, it's great. Before, the beer bottles were literally just lining like this. Now it's like a sculpture garden of beer bottles. There are so many pilgrims on the path. <laughs> I've taken to wearing my mask and keeping it under my chin when I'm walking because there are just too many people. Um, I haven't experienced anything like this. It's been a while since I walked into Santiago, so I guess, you know, six years <laughs> since I've been on this road, so maybe it's just different. Um, I do think this is the time when a lot of Spain goes on holiday and you know there are a lot of Spanish people so big groups, groups of friends, groups of kids and students, family groups. Um, so maybe that's part of it. It's also a Sunday so it's possible people sort of walking on the weekend or even on Friday for a long weekend but this is really crowded. I can't imagine how there are beds for everyone in these towns. Um, so that could explain some of the trouble people are having in booking albergues. Luckily, I got my two places really easily, but I think I'm definitely staying at stages that aren't very typical at all. So, you know, I'm walking a much bigger day today than I think most pilgrims would. Anyway, so I'm on the Pilgrim Super Highway right now. <laughs> Stop for a quick beer and in Galicia, you know, all the drinks come with like a little something to eat And so I got a little bowl of chips, which is so perfect Anyway, um, a pilgrim walked up right as I was finishing and I thought he was a pilgrim who was in my albergue last night So as I was leaving, I just said hello And a lot of pilgrims are stopping in a couple kilometers And he asked where I was going and I was like, oh, I'm going to Lavaquea <laughs> And he was like, the airport? There's an albergue there? <laughs> like, yeah, I think so Oh, where am I going? The airport. <laughs> Great. <laughs> nah, I think the Albrecht is going to be fine. I don't know that it's going to be the nicest area, but it is. 10 kilometers from Santiago, and I read some reviews about this place, and I, they were all, like, really good. So I think at this point, just having a bed to sleep in is probably a good thing, and it's going to be a quick and easy walk into Santiago tomorrow, which will be perfect. But we'll see how close I am. <laughs> to the airport and how well I sleep tonight. What is happening here? There's some music at this rest area. Huh. And now I'm back on a nice and quiet path. I think just about all the other pilgrims turned off for O Pedruzo and I am continuing on. So there was a point where the Camino kind of split. To the left it went into the town and I saw the long line of pilgrims going that way and to the right the Camino continued on and it's me. I think there's a pilgrim somewhere behind me. I mean certainly there are other pilgrims on the path but Oh, it feels so much nicer now. So I think at a nice quiet morning, I'm going to have a nice quiet afternoon for these last 10 kilometers. Busy afternoon, but that's okay. To be expected. <laughs> but I think this is going to be a nice way to finish the walk today. Um, it's really raining. Yeah, it's like the heaviest rain I've walked in yet. Pausing under a tree where it's not so bad, but... <laughs> Classic Camino. Here is the big stone that says Santiago. It makes you think that you're close, but we actually still have a solid 13 kilometers until Santiago. But this is definitely a landmark. You know that you're getting close when you see this. So I'm walking on the side of the road and it's not really rainy right now, thank goodness, because it's kind of a weird place here. I mean, it's fine, but it seems like one of the only places to eat 
It's like a 10 minute walk up the road. I mean, it's also Sunday. So I think some things are closed. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the best feeling about this place. Like it's totally fine. Uh, it's totally fine. I think I need to eat something. My eating was really off today. I didn't really have a lunch. Um, so I'm hungry, but it's early, but it's okay. I'll get a drink. I'll see about food. <laughs> I'll find it eventually. So I'm kind of striking out with this day. In Galicia, to enter establishments, at least a lot of them, you need proof of vaccination, a recent negative COVID test, or you have to prove that you just had COVID. And I meant to put my, I brought my vaccination card from the CDC with me. I meant to put it in my day bag, but of course I forgot. And so I walked down here to this restaurant oh, and have to sit outside and it's like raining and cold, but at least I'm under a cover. And, and I kind of like looked around a bit on the website and read some reviews for this place. And one thing they raved about or like other people raved about was the fact that their kitchen was open between lunch and dinner. So I thought, this is great. I'll walk down, maybe I'll get a drink first and then I'll just get something to eat a little early because I'm hungry. <laughs> of course, they were like, no, the kitchen doesn't open until eight and it's only six. So I got a glass of wine, but I totally forgot actually that they bring out a little something with the drink here, which is so good. So at least I can eat a little something, figure I'll have a drink. I don't know, I guess I'll walk back and then just come back here at eight. <laughs> and hopefully get inside ah, what a mess <laughs> so it just started to really rain ah, but i think they took pity on me because they brought me your menu and said they would cook something for me ah, i'm like the american sitting alone outside in the rain who didn't bring her proof of vaccination card <laughs> Oh, it arrived way too early for dinner, but I'm so hungry. So thank goodness they're going to make something for me, oh, which is just so kind. And I'm going to hope, hope, hope this rain stops before I have to walk back. But I brought my raincoat and I'm wearing my flip-flops, but whatever. If I get a little wet, it's just water. I'll dry off. It'll be all right. Okay.